Hello community pharmacy teams, happy Friday and welcome to your latest news roundup of all the news affecting community pharmacy in Scotland. It's that time of year again where the Post Registration Foundation, the first bit of information has been released by Ness. Now this program is to the application start date is on the Thursday, the 1st of August, and that is for the September 2024 cohort. But why does it matter? So it matters because as you will know, the pharmacy landscape is ever changing. This particular course will help lift confidence for those pharmacists early in their career. It also comes with an IP qualification and that IP qualification, as we know, will become the norm in Scotland as, as we approach the next decade. Um, so if you're interested and want to know further details, please read the article below. We had the opportunity to meet with MSP Christine Graham on Friday the 17th of May at Modern Pharmacy. Thanks to independent prescribing pharmacists Hilary and Cathy, we were able to talk in depth about the Pharmacy First Plus service and how they deliver it to their community in Modern. We also discussed with Christine our ability to communicate with our colleagues in primary care and the lack of smooth access to patient records. To find out more or how you could host an MSP visit yourself, please click the link below. Your next prescription collection date is Tuesday the 4th of June. You should have your prescriptions counted and then the parcel false bags along with your GP34 ready for the driver to collect. However, if you are not going to be ready for the courier, you can contact us on 0131 467 7766 to let us know and we can rearrange it for you. Pharmacy's professional regulator, the GPHC, is seeking views on the quality assurance process of all training and education in pharmacy. The GPHC have set out four changes to the current process and this is to be able to identify issues within training and education quickly and more effectively. This will also bring the quality assurance process for all training providers into line. To read our full consultation response, please click the link below. And if you would like to respond to the consultation yourself, you have until the 13th of June to do so. Hi everyone, it's Adam here in the policy department. So, something that we and our colleagues at the Royal Pharmaceutical Society in Scotland know all too well is that pharmacy teams often don't have access to the clinical information they need to support the patient standing in front of them or to deliver services fully, and that is really frustrating. The RPS have been campaigning on this recently and we've been helping them. Something that we need to know though is what is out there in terms of access. So we've got a short survey for you this week, uh, the link's just below. If you could fill that out, it'll let us know what systems you do have access to, what training was delivered to help you understand how to use those systems and what other systems you think you might need to do your job fully. So please take the time, fill it out and we can support this campaign. Thank you. As always, you can find all the links to the articles covered in this video in the description below. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe and click the notifications bell. And that's all from us. I'll see you again next time.